Hey, what's going on, Card Pack? Today we're going to go over the top 10 football cards that went up the most over the last seven days. As I've said, this is kind of football card buying season. That's a lot of what I'm buying, and there's a lot of good stuff to see on this chart. This is something that I check very regularly. Um, okay, before we dive into that, though, I want to remind you of a few things. Um, you can get the audios from these videos. You can get them on the podcast. Join the Card Pack newsletter. You can get the buys from this video, the cards that I think are buys, um, sent to you before this video publishes. And if you want to get my sports card pick of the day, join the Sports Card Society. You also get access to the private Discord group, which I think is absolutely one of the best in all sports card investing because of the people in it. They are very smart and active. Um, here's an example of previous sports card pick of the days. Here's a Kyler Murray. We're getting for a little over 200 in February. Here it is going for upwards of 400 in March. Here's Chipper Jones going for 70 in January, going for 225 in March. And uh, this LeBron right here going for 175 in January. Here it is in March going for, or February, excuse me, going for 645. And there's a lot of other good examples, but I wanted to show you a few. So check that out. It's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. I mean, it's like 40 cents a day. That's nothing. If all you do is like, you know, you take a few of my picks through the year, you know, you buy this LeBron. And here it is at 6.45 in a month. That way more the pace for your entire year of your membership, and then you're just in the profit straight up. Not to mention all the other cards you buy. Not that I guarantee every single card you're going to buy is going to make you profit. I mean, look at Deshaun Watson, for example, who we're going to look at today. I mean, all of a sudden a scandal comes out, boom, cards go in the tank. You can't predict stuff like that. Anyways, let's dive into the content. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I really want to get to 3,000. Please help me do that. Hit the notification bell and hit that like button. I really appreciate that. Here we are in the Market Movers tool. We went to Price Movements by Card, Pulled Up Football, PSA 10 over the last seven days. As you see, number one on the list is Barry Sanders. His 1989 tops traded. Pop count of 43.71, up 33% on the week. What pop count means is that particular card in that grade, how many of them ex are in existence currently. So this card in the grade PSA 10, there are 4,371 of them in existence currently. That is pop count, population report. This card started the week at 226, went up to 300, latest sale of 291. This is Barry Sanders. He's a legend. I, it's hard for me to really ever call this card anything but a buy, especially when it's been doing this. Like... To me, this card's just really on sale. It's Barry Sanders. He's an all-timer. Pop count's a little high, but for me, um, I feel... Let's check it out on eBay, because with all these cards, I always do buy, sell, hold. So my gut tells me I'm a buy on this, because it just seems like it's really on sale. Let's pull it up. Pull it up, pull it up. Buy it now, Z. 300 is the lowest we see. So I don't know... If I am willing to pay the 300 just sold for that, I'd really like to get it more about 250 What are the auctions going for? Let's sort this stuff. God, it's getting nice out spring. I'm totally, totally, totally going morel mushroom hunting this week. I am excited about it. Going to go out into the mountains. Don't know if I'm going to find anything, but it's fun to get out. What about these auctions here? So here's one, and in a day or so, here's another one. It's Probe Steam, PWCC. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm going to put a link to this in the description because this is a buy for me if you can get it for like 250 or less, 275 or less probably, but 250 would be easy. For me. I know it's been going down for the last 60 days, but I feel like it doesn't go down much more below this because watch, we'll pull it back. Let's pull it back 180 days. It just had a big run up back here. See, big run up to 470. So that's why it's been coming down because this is where it was before, you know, about it's called 150. So I think the new floor is around 225 to 275. I think this is kind of the new floor here. That's why I think it's a good time to buy this card. Uh, and that's why I'm buying it and I'm recommending buying it. But of course, disclaimer any decisions you make are yours. I can't guarantee a dang thing. But I'll put a link in the description for this card because um, you get this nice refined search here on eBay. So let's go on to the next. Justin Herbert, Herbert and Gerbert, 2020 Mosaic Base, pop count of only 410, up 28% on the week. Um, you know, if P PSA doing its thing, 
where you got to pay 300 bucks to submit a card for the for the foreseeable future or at least the next three months we'll see how they handle it um i don't see this pop count going up too much the only thing i don't see a this card getting submitted into PSA because it doesn't have the value to, you know, justify spending $300 to get it graded. This card started the week at 302, went up to 386. Let's pull it back 60 days. And by the way, this market movers tool here I'm using, I mean, I'm sure you can see, if you watch my videos, this is what I use literally every video. Because this this is the most important tool I use in sports card investing. I mean, being able to visualize this data like this is, I say it over and over, I'm going to keep saying it. Because if you don't have this, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, you have no idea how much harder you're making it for yourself. And you have no idea how much money you're losing by not having a data visualization tool like this. And Market Movers is the best one, in my opinion. It's the one I use. So I'll put a link for it in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. So this card overall, you know, it's been kind of up and down, looks like, but you can see that dotted line trending up. I don't know if I want to pay 380 for it. I think I like it around 350 Let's go to eBay and check it out because it's Justin Herbert. You know, he was rookie of the year. He had, what, the best quarterback rookie season of all time, like, by a decent margin? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of hype for him going into the season. And I'll be looking to sell it around um, around the beginning of the season, probably in the preseason. So I think that's where I'll hit maximum height. Oh, it's an auction. I was like, what? I'm, I was like, that's 99 bucks. I'm literally buying it on this video right now. Um, low pop count. People are holding it close to their guard. They know what I'm saying. Like they don't even want to sell it for that. Um, let's go, wait, let's go to the auctions now. Let's take a little closer look at that because people know this car is just going to go up. It's not the only people selling it right now. They just kind of want to get out of it or they need to get out of it. Like they need to pay bills or something. Um, okay. A couple auctions going on. I'm going to pay attention to those. You know what? I'll put a link in the description for this one too, because I'd, I'd be a buy at, at the right price, which to me is probably like three fifty. But I'm not afraid to pay 400 because I think this card goes to 800 by the time season rolls around. Next on the list, Sam Darnold, 2018 Optic. Pop count of only 365, up 25% on the week. Let me get some coffee. So, like, the card pack newsletter, by the way, um, like this, like this, uh, Barry Sanders is Justin Herbert. I'm going to mail that out to the Card Pack newsletter before I publish this video. So that's why people are in the Card Pack newsletter. Just to be clear on that. Anyway, so this card started the week at 119, dipped down to 88, went up to 145. Let's pull let's pull Sammy back 60 days. Overall, it looks like that dotted line shows overall been going up. It's pretty cheap. That's a cool card. I like that kind of, you know, I don't know what you call that, whatever they did there, making it kind of, not cartoony, but something, I don't know, something. Overall, it's been going up. Jets, obviously, I don't expect them to be real great. Sam Darnold, you're not even 100% if he's going to be their quarterback. I think he's. I think he's got a raw deal. I think he, I mean, he should be a starting quarterback somewhere. I mean, the Jets got to take some accountability and say, we suck. Our management, our coaching have been god-awful. I don't think you can judge Sam Darnold being in like the worst situation in football to start his career. I don't think you can judge him like that. I think he's done fine. I would uh, I would like to see him starting somewhere. Um, but for now, i I got to be a hold on this card. I'm not selling it, but I'm not buying it either. I'm a hold because I want to see what the Jets do come draft day. Next on the list, Saquon Barkley, 2018 Prism. This is a card I recommended to my sports card society uh, a, a bit ago. Because, again, Saquon, I mean, he's like a generational talent. He got hurt. Um, but the Giants got a lot of hype rolling in. They signed Kenny Galladay. Daniel Jones is starting to look a little, um, I don't know, people are starting to, you know, give him benefit of the doubt. Because he lost Saquon. I mean, he lost Saquon Barkley last year. That's hard. You know, he's a young quarterback trying to figure things out. Giants overall as a coaching 
and management weren't that amazing. But anyways, this card's up 19% on the week. Pop count of only 704. Uh, Saquon, yeah. I mean, this is this is something I recommended to my society, like I said, uh, a bit back. And it's because it's just, it's a good card to buy. It's Saquon Barkley. Now, I'm not saying hold this forever. Uh, by the way, this card started the week at 250, end of the week at about 300. Let's pull it back 60 days. You know, look at that. 60 days ago, it was 198 bucks. Latest sale, 296. That's a pretty good return in uh, two months, right? 50% return in two months. And I don't see any reason why this doesn't keep going up, right? I just don't see any reason why this doesn't keep going up. Actually, let's pull it back even further. Let's pull it back 90 days. <laughs> He's going to be like, wow, I wish I would have got it 90 days ago. Actually, I guess it's about the same 90 days ago. It looks like it was just flat. And then after the Super Bowl, it started going up. So 60 days ago, 90 days ago, you'd have about the same return. But I don't see why this car doesn't keep going up. So I'm still definitely a buy. Unless let's go to eBay and see what is for sale. By the way, if you're still watching, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I really want to get to 3,000. I appreciate your help. Uh, let's see what do we got here, Saquon. Three thirty. That's probably about right. I'd make an offer on that. Try to get it under three hundred. So I'm a buy on this. I'm a buy on this card around three hundred. I even even the barbershop one. I could go for that because it is, is going to be an even lower pop count. But this one looks better. Best offer, best offer. I'd come in here and make some offers. Is what I do. I'd try to get it around three hundred. If I can get it for less, great. But I'm not too picky about it because. Look at this chart. Again, this is why you have like a data visualization tool. Like I use Market Movers because you can see what's going on. And then you can ask yourself, well, why has this been going on? Well, because it's the off season. His cards hit the bottom. And now people are just buying them, getting ready for the start of the next season. And we're months out. So I don't see any reason why th this card won't continue to go up because Saquon Barkley hype is going to go up. There's going to be fantasy football drafts. I mean, check this out. Where's Saquon? Here he is, number four overall in in uh, on Fantasy Pros in terms of uh, draft position for fantasy football. Like Saquon Barkley, yeah, I see no reason why this card won't keep going up. So I'll put a link in the description for this one for you to go check it out. I mean, this time of year when like when I do football videos, those have the most buys of anything, you know, and come like you know August or or. June, July, I'll probably buy basketball the most. Um, come November, December, I'll buy baseball the most. Like, that's just kind of what I do. Um, because that's the cycles. Lamar Jackson, 2018 Optic. It's the next one on the list, number five on the list. Pop count of 13, 17, up about 18% on the week. I can tell you right now, this is going to be a buy for me. This is a card I've recommended in my sports card society weeks ago. Uh, this one started the week at 322. Had a high sale of 475. That seems a little suspicious to me. Latest sale of 318. Let's pull him back 60 days. Um, look at that. Just a nice trajectory going up. 60 days ago, this card was 241. Latest sale of 318. A gain of 31%. Don't get too spoiled. Don't get too greedy. Take your gains. And this card, I know. Again, I don't see any reason why it doesn't just keep up this trajectory. And actually, as we get closer to the season especially after the NFL draft is when it really kicks in, which is at the end of this month, um, the, there, it, it leaves room for um, accelerated acceleration, for lack of a better way of describing it, but I bet you know what I mean. Come on. Anyways, so this is a card I've been recommending to my society too. We're just, we're just making money. You know, it's just this is one I would definitely uh, call a buy right now. It's still, it, did, you, did you get it at the bottom right now? No. But is there still a good amount of money to be made? Yes, in my opinion. Buy it now. All right, what do we got here? Two seven no, three seventy five. What did we say the latest one sold for? Like three eighteen. See, people don't want to let these go, you know, because they know. Here's one went for three forty, three seventy five. So you know what? That three eighteen seems like an outlier, just like the big one does. So three seventy five make a best offer on that seems solid to me. Uh, was another make a best offer on that price some auctions going on so I'm a buy I'll put a link in the description for this one too
I just think buying football is a super smart play. Actually, not just super, like, just logical. Uh, Jarrett Stidham, I won't be buying this one. 2019 Prism, PopCon of 949, up 18% on the week. I'm not buying Jarrett Stidham. This is way too speculative for me. Because I just don't have to. Why would I buy? Why would I spend any money on Jared Stidham when I can go buy Saquon Barkley? When I can go buy Lamar Jackson? When I can go buy Barry Sanders? You know, like why would I? Why would I put any money? Why, it, 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 like unless you're just collecting Jared Stidham, I don't know why people buy Jared Stidham. I do. It's it's speculation because if all of a sudden something because his market cap is so low. What's a market cap? It's this number nine forty nine times fifty six. That's his market cap. So it's super low. Market cap is the, the value of all of his cards, of a certain card put together. So all of these PSA 10s put together, they're times that number. That's the market cap, how many this market is worth. So it's a really low market cap. And so, yeah, if something happens, it's really easy for this card to double, triple, quadruple if something happens. And that's why people are in it. But I just, that's like gambling to me. That's like high, that's high risk, high reward. I mean, maybe there's not a lot of risk because it's like, you know, it's only 56 bucks. But I just, I just see it too high of a probability of losing money on this card. So I'd be, uh, you know, straight, honestly, since because of the time of year it is, I'd probably be a hold on it. But maybe not. Maybe I just get out of this damn card because, because why? I don't think he's going to start. I don't think he's really going to get that much hype. Uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong for him. And look, overall, it's just been flat. Like, I just get out of it. I just get out of it. So I'm a sell on that one. Next on the list, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson's going up at all. 2017 Select Concourse, pop count of 348, up 17.5% on the week. <laughs> Deshaun Watson cards have just been, they went down a good 50% from their height. Because they were building up all offseason because of all that, you know, hype of him going somewhere else. So this card started the week at 184 went up to 225. Let's pull it back 90 days. See, let's let's look at this journey. So, you know, here it is 90 days ago. This card's at 171. Trade rumors start going around, get up to 350, and it kind of just stays flat here around, well, around 300, 350. And it gets all the way up to here, 400 bucks on the 5th of March. And then the scandals come out. Well, the allegations. Now there's charges going on. So I just, you know, I think that people are waiting to see. And I don't think it's going to be pretty. Honestly, I know you might have you might have bought up here at 300 bucks. I'd get out of this card. I'd just take my loss. Seriously. Because I think it's going to go down more. I don't think it's going to go. I'm not a buy on this. I'm, actually, I'm a sell. I'm a sell. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is why I can't guarantee anything when I say I'm a buy on a card. I can't guarantee because, look, you never know. He could go. He could go. Get in a car accident and bust his legs. His cards are going to tank. He could all of a sudden have a scandal going on. His cards are going to tank. Whether it's true or not, I mean, so many coming forward. I, I can't help but feel that it'd be quite a conspiracy if uh, he wasn't doing some things. But again, you're innocent until proven guilty. Okay, so let's be cool. But I'm not buying his cards. I am. I'm selling because I don't think it's going to get prettier. At least not for a while, that's for sure. Quite a while. Next on the list, Saquon Barkley again. His 2018 optic, pop count of 445, um, up 16% on the week. Again, Saquon Barkley is a guy I recommend to my society. Um, because it just it just makes sense. Started the week at 152, ended the week at 178. Let's pull it back. 60 days. Yeah, I like it. I mean, you see the dotted line slightly pointing down. That doesn't concern me at all. Because the optic and the prism don't necessarily travel in the same timeline in the off-season like this. So the optic, this is probably actually a better buy than the prism. Because it hasn't really started its ascent yet. Ascent. I feel, that's a word that makes me feel smart to say. Ascent. But here it is over the last 90 days, right? So now it's going up. When you look at it like that, 115 bucks 90 days ago. This one goes for 178. It's just over the last 60 days, it 
it's up and kind of up and I don't know. It's kind of across, straight across over the last 60 days. But over the last 90, it's gone up quite a bit. So I like this little plateau we have right here. So it went up, plateau, and there's going to be another up, and then a plateau, and then another up, and then a plateau. Like that's kind of the way these cards go in the off season. I like I probably like the optic as a better buy than the prism, actually. Let's go check it out on eBay. I see a 175 right there. I'm already in at 175. I feel good about that. Let's click buy it now. 175. That's probably the only one I would buy. I can go in here and make offers, I suppose. I like that 175. I dig that. For sure. Let's see what his PSA 9 has done. So his PSA 9 has gone up 75% over the last 90 days. So his PSA 9 has actually gone up a little bit more than his 10. Interesting. Again, this is the reason that I love this market movers tool. Like, I, you have to have it. Um, because you can do stuff like this. I can pull up his prism, too, and compare his prism to his optic. Pull up multiple variations. Um, let's do that real quick, actually. I'm going to pull up that prism. We'll, we'll see how they've traveled together. Select some other ones, too. But I'm just going to do those two for now. We'll just pick the base. But I, I could select all these variations, you know, the silver and everything. But we're just looking at the base right now. And we'll just look at the 10. To compare the two. Again, the, the link for this uh, Mark Movers tool is in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. So overall, like, let's see here. Yeah, the optic it's saying has gone up 55%. The prism's gone up about the same, 52%. So they've went up about the same amount over the last 90 days. Pop counts are fairly similar. The prism's a little higher, 705 to... 445 neither of those really give me much cause for concern um you know what let's do this let's pull up the nines too so uh, i'm gonna do that to look at the ratios so we're doing a little bit of technical analysis here so you look at this and you can look close at this and i will well i won't right now but i would what i want to do is i want to go to this tab right here ratios and i want to look at this because typically You'll see a PSA 10 go for somewhere around three to three and a half times the nine. So we're within those realms here. The nine is actually probably maybe a little overpriced for the optic compared to the 10, or the 10 is underpriced compared to the nine, whichever way you decide to look at it. And the pop counts, you're not giving me the pop count of the nine here. I'd imagine it's similar. Pop count of the prism nine and 10 are similar. So this three to three and a half makes sense. So this is the type of technical analysis that you can that you just can't do without tools like this. And I say words like that, it sounds big and fancy, but nonetheless, I put together a course called the Delta Factor, where I help you learn how to do technical analysis like that and really find these strong buy signals and really being able to compare cards and find the best, most undervalued stuff. Um, about seven, eight videos, about three, four hours of content. I really dive in deep and show my secret sauce. And, uh, and there's a couple bonuses that come with this too. You get a free month of the Sports Card Society and a whole year of the private Discord. So the link for that in the description. But Overall, they all seem to be moving about the same. They all seem to be going up at about the same rate. Um, so it's kind of like, where's your budget? That's really what it is. I'm going to leave a link to the 10 for the optic. But, you know, feel free to explore around. We're moving on to the next card. Justin Herbert, again, is 2000, well... 2020 of course. His is 2020 Don Russ pop count of only 205, up 15 and a half percent on the week. I have some of these in PSA. They've been there for months. I hope to God I get them back before the preseason. That would they will have been in there for I don't know a long time. God, I hope I get them back. I don't think I will though, because I think I sent them in on 45 day, which was what a stupid ass mistake on my part. Um. But whatever, whatever. At least I got them at prices before. I got I got them at the price of uh, I think it's only like twenty bucks, not even twenty bucks. 
think it's like 17 bucks to get them graded. So when I get them back, I get them back. Um, I'm in no hurry to do anything. I don't have all that much invested in them, but I think their value is going to be pretty great, as it is. I mean, look, this card started the week at 330 went up to 380 kind of went straight across the board, laid a sale of 381 Let's pull it back 60 days. Pop count of only 205 You know, so it's going to go up, but it's not going to get crazy. Ooh, what happened here? 465 Looks like the market said, listen, you're going up a little too fast. Because, frankly, I was I haven't bought a lot of Herbert cards because I was thinking, you know, his cards never really went down. You know, sure, you could say they're down here. Somebody I'm like, 300 bucks. I was waiting for them to really go down more. 465 and then here we are down here at, you know, 380 I don't see him going much lower than that at this point. Um, but again, you know, you could have bought back here at, you know, 300 Like I said, they didn't really go down that much. But I think their ascent is going to be happening. Let's go. Let's go to eBay. There's going to be a lot of links in the description to buy cards um, that I'll put in there because it's football and it's just that's just what it is. You know, I pull up baseball right now. There's probably going to be maybe one or two links to cards I think are worth buying because it's just the timing of the year. It really matters. This is uh, 400. I can't hate that. I mean, that's pretty decent. I wish there was an OBO here. Five. This guy's not going to take four hundred less than four hundred. So three ninety nine is probably the best buy. It's a new listing. Probably not going to be there that long. Um, again, pretty low pop count. I'm a buy. I'm a buy on this card. Let's see what the nine has done. Maybe it might never have a nine in here. Yeah, there's not even a nine in here because the pop counts are just so low. Next card, Carson Wentz, twenty sixteen Prism Silver pop count of six fifty eight, up fourteen percent on the week. Carson Wentz. Not the top guy on the list I'm buying, um, but I believe there's money to be made there. This card, sitting at 519, and it's a silver. Because I think in 2016, they didn't have base. They were literally all just silvers. This card went up to a high of 616, laid a sale of 572. Let's pull it back 90 days. So he got traded. That's what caused this big spike. And then he went down to earth. And he's been kind of slowly, look, that's really nice there, slowly working up over the last, let's go to 60 days now. Really, since here, he's just been nicely going up for the past month, month and a half, a little over a month. Looks pretty good. But you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not. I'd be a buy on this. I just think I'd rather buy other things than this. That's all. So I'm not going to put a link in the description to this one. So I'm going to have enough links in the description for you to click of cards that I think are buys that that one would be at the bottom of the list. I'm just going to leave it out. Uh, and he and that rounds out our top 10. A lot of green here. A lot of green. And with the very top being Barry Sanders, the bottom being Carson Wentz. Um, you know, multiple repeats here. Two Justin Herberts, two Saquon Barkley's. Uh, a Lamar Jackson, um, Sam Darnold, Barry Sanders. Um, it's just, there's a lot of good stuff to Sean. I'd avoid Deshaun still. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a sell. As much as I hate it, I hate it. Because I bought a good number of Deshaun Watson cards before all this crap happened. And um, I'm just, mm, it's cutting my losses. Reinvesting in other stuff. Saquon Barkley, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, stuff like that. Hell, Barry Sanders. I mean, I don't think any scandals are going to come out about Barry Sanders. And obviously, he's not an injury concern because he's quite retired and he's in the Hall of Fame. So yeah, so I'll put the links in the scripts for the cards I think are worth buying that I, I deem that I think are buys or at least I think worth taking a look at. Check out the podcast, the the card pack newsletter, of course, the Sports Card Society. You know, get my pick of the day and get access to the uh, what I think is the best uh, Discord in all sports card investing. And of course, you want to learn more about technical analysis and finding undervalued cards yourself. Get the Delts Factor. And please help me get to 3,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Uh, I just appreciate all of that. Thank you again for watching. Um, stay classy, Card Pack. You're so awesome. I'll see you tomorrow.